Hey guys, um, sorry about my voice. <clears throat> I have a little bit like a uh, thingy. Okay, anyways, so basically today I'm going to be showing you, well, let me introduce myself. My name is Sarah Aurora, and today I'm going to be showing you how to share artworks in Procreate. This is actually very simple and pretty fun to do, especially because you get to see your artwork. It's really pretty and stuff. So let's just get started. So first, you want to click on Select, that which is right next to what's new on the top part of the screen. So I click that. And now it's basically to just select the artwork. So I'm going to share the one with my name on it, which says Sarah. And as you can see, you just have to click on it, and then it like puts a little blue check mark on the bottom next to the title. And now you have a bunch of options. You can do Stack, Preview, Share, Duplicate, and Delete. Stack isn't available because you need multiple artworks to stack. So like if I select another one, then I can stack but I only want this one. So you can preview, share, duplicate, and delete. So which one you want to click is the one in between duplicate and preview, which is share. Once I click there, it says image format. You can do procreate, PSD, PDF, GP, GPEG, PNG, TIFF, animated GIF, and animated PNG. I'm gonna do animated GIF because I think these are really cool. So here you can all give it like a little edit so like you can choose how many frames per second you want. I usually like to do like four because it kind of like shows a quick tor tutorial a little bit. I guess you could say, but like I personally just wanted to do four because I like that one. And then you can choose if you want a transparent background. Like let me show you how it looks if you do that. But if you do do that, then you can like change this to like how much you want it to be like that. And stuff this is like the alpha threshold um and then you can do frames color palette this doesn't really this really changes like the like lettering well the letters in mine so like the they're not black anymore they're now um pink so yeah i think i'm gonna keep it like black because i think it looks better and now I just want to click export. And you can also see how it looks um, web ready. So like right next to math, max resolution, you can click on web ready. This is how it'll look on the web. Now I'm just going to go ahead and click export. And now it's exporting. Now I can send it to whoever I would like. I can airdrop it, message, mail, TikTok, Discord, Messenger Kids, Procreate, Vita, Snapchat, Classroom, Canva, Chrome. And if you click more, then you can find other apps that you could use. You can copy it, send to a specific person. Hey guys, um, sorry about my voice. <clears throat> I have a little bit like a uh, thingy. Okay, anyways, so basically today I'm going to be showing you, well, let me introduce myself. My name is Sarah Aurora, and today I'm going to be showing you how to share artworks in Procreate. This is actually very simple and pretty fun to do, especially because you get to see your artwork really pretty and stuff so let's just get started so first you want to click on select that which is right next to what's new on the top part of the screen so i click that and now it's basically to just select the artwork so i'm going to share the one with my name on it which says sarah and as you can see you just have to click on it and then it like puts a little blue check mark on the bottom next to the title and now you have a bunch of options. You can do stack, preview, share, duplicate, and delete. Stack isn't available because you need multiple artworks to stack. So like if I select another one, then I can stack. But I only want this one. So you can preview, share, duplicate, and delete. So which one you want to click is the one in between duplicate and preview, which is share. Once I click there, it says image format. You can do procreate, PSD, PDF, GP, GPEG, PNG, TIFF, animated GIF, and animated PNG. I'm gonna do animated GIF because I think these are really cool. So here you can all give it like a little edit so like you can choose how many frames per second you want. I usually like to do like four because it kind of like shows a quick tor tutorial a little bit, I guess you could say, but like I personally just wanted to do four because I like that one. And then you can choose if you want a transparent background. Like let me show you how it looks if you do that. But if you do do that, then you can, like, change this to, like, how much you want it to be like that and stuff. This is, like, the alpha threshold. Um, and then you can do frames, color palette. This doesn't really – this really changes, like, the, like, lettering. Well, the letters in mine, so, like, the they're not black anymore. They're now um, pink. So, yeah, I think I'm going to keep it like black because I think it looks better 
and now I just want to click export and you can also see how it looks um, web ready so like right next to math max resolution you can click on web ready this is how it'll look on the web now I'm just gonna go ahead and click export and now it's exporting now I can send it to whoever I would like I can airdrop it message mail TikTok, discord messenger kids procreate Vita, snapchat classroom canva chrome and if you click more then you can find other apps that you could use you can copy it, send to a specific person. So, like, you could do, like, the uh, send to iTunes, save image, assign to contact, print, add to shared album, save to files, edit with snow. Now, you might not get the edit with snow depending on if you have that specific app or not. You can also do search with Google Lens and save to print test and pre cool pool are also depending on if you have the app or not. So, for now, I'm going to just go ahead and save the image actually wait you know what i'm gonna send it um to my brother i'm gonna go ahead and click on him send it and just like that the export was successful now if i go to my snap then i can tell that i sent it to him so that's basically how you share artworks with people on procreate thank you for watching today's video and have an amazing day goodbye